How much money does an aviation YouTuber make? How old am I? And how do I afford to travel so much? Join me this week as I take a ride to Melbourne in order to reposition myself for another flight. Yes, I'm back with more microphone issues, but do not stress because it's only for the first clip of today's video. Today I wasn't going to make a video, but I decided to make one because I want to answer some of your most frequently asked questions as I take a ride with Virgin Australia in economy class over to Melbourne. I've just checked in and I'm now on my way to the Virgin Australia lounge at Adelaide Airport. I have access to this lounge today with my Velocity Gold status. Okay then, I just found myself a seat at the Virgin Australia lounge. Um, I just got myself some sausages and some scrambled egg for breakfast. They have a decent selection up there. They've got some pancakes, they've got some fruits, and they've got like a yogurt and all that sort of stuff up there. Um, I'm just going with some sausages and scrambled eggs this morning because nah, I just want to stay light because I know we're going to eat a lot later on. Anyway, yeah, so today I'm filming a video. I'm flying out of Melbourne to film the video. So I thought let's just use this little flight over to Melbourne to get some of your questions answered. So I'm going to dig into these eggs and sausages and then we'll start answering your questions. Okay, probably one of the most frequent asked questions is why do I travel so much like I do and what made me want to start doing it? Well, to be fair, the only reason why I do so like this extent of travel is to make videos. Of course, I love traveling. I wouldn't travel this much if it weren't for the videos. So that's what really makes me travel this much. And what got me into traveling was, I don't know, I just always enjoyed it and I thought, I'm quiet and thought, let's try and make some videos off it and let's see where we go from there. So that's probably the reason why I got into making videos and travelling as much as I do. Okay, I just got myself a chai latte just from the just from the barista up there. Now another question I get asked a lot is what is the top of my bucket list for things to do? And I guess Flying around the world first class. That's in terms of flying. In terms of bucket list, uh, it'd be probably just to explore like those places that nobody really goes, like anywhere deep in the mountains, you know, rainforest, all of that sort of stuff. But yeah, just out of the normal sort of stuff. But I got myself this chai latte. They're serving them in takeaway cups now. I'm not really too sure why, but I'm gonna enjoy it. And then we board in about 10 minutes. So, let's have this try. It's very hot, but it's good. After a wonderful experience, it's time to head to gate 14, where my flight has already begun boarding. Thank you. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Uh, right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Taking me to Melbourne today would be this 11-year-old Virgin Australia 737-800 delivered new to Virgin Australia in November of 2011. Okay then, welcome aboard the Virgin Australia 737. I'm just in economy class today. Um, I'm in 22F for this short flight over to Melbourne with a nice wing view. Now, another question I get asked is how many flights have I done and do I keep track of them? Yes, I do keep track of them. I use my flight radar 24. I'll put like a link below to it so you can find it. And you can just see all my flights on there when I've taken them. Every, every detail, seats, everything. And I've taken, from what I can remember, this is what I remember, because obviously I've forgotten some from before I, when I was like one and two, but um, I remember taking 104 flights, so this will be my 105th flight. And yeah, my 104th flight that I remember, no, my 100th flight, sorry, that I remember, was from Canberra to Adelaide on an E190. Not really my, not really a special flight, but um, yeah, hopefully my 1000s will be a bit more interesting, but yeah, so 
Welcome to Virgin Australia Economy Class. This Rex 737 would also push back next to us, also bound for Melbourne in the 6am bank of flights out of Adelaide. Okay then, let's have a look at the seat features. So, in there is a safety card and a menu. There's also another little pouch there. The grooms. It's not bad. That's the tray table. Folds down and moves backwards and forwards. That's the button to recline the seat. And then of course you can adjust the headrest however you want. It's just the basic seat features on the 737. Um, and so another question I get asked is would I ever consider coming to Africa? And um, if you mean the continent, then yeah, sure, I'd love to. There's lots of cool planes there. Obviously, not in the distant future, I couldn't really see myself going there. But Sorry, not in the near future, I couldn't see myself going there, but in the distant future, for sure, I could definitely see myself travelling there. I think it's a, it's a pretty cool place to explore, and I'm, I'm keen to, I'm down to explore it, you know? Yeah. We should be pushing back shortly, I think. The crew members are just said that we got everyone on board, so we should be on our way to Melbourne very soon. We did then begin our pushback, and with that, our taxi to runway 23 for our departure out of Adelaide. Our flight today then would take us for a departure straight out of Adelaide's runway 23 before a straight run into Melbourne, then approaching Melbourne's runway 34. Total flight time was one hour and three minutes. Okay, we are up, up and away from Melbourne, not Melbourne, Adelaide, sorry. That was a really nice departure actually. Once we got past all that weather and we got over the clouds, it's actually really nice up here. Beautiful day for flying. Hopefully, hopefully it's nice and clear in Melbourne. I haven't looked at the weather yet. Now, uh, another question I got asked was, where do I see myself in 10 years? And 10 years, hopefully the channel is a lot bigger. Hopefully we have, and hopefully I can travel a lot more because I've got a few restrictions at the moment, like my age and also money. So hopefully I'm rich as well so I can travel as much as I want. But yeah, that's where I see myself in 10 years. And yeah, the Seabout sign just got switched off. We're not gonna get a service, we'll get Maybe we'll get tea, coffee and water. I'm not sure. Depends what they want to give us. I think it just depends on the flight, to be honest, and the crew, <laughs> if they want to do that service on Virgin these days. I did see that the crew did have their trolleys out, so I was happy to see that we were getting some form of a service. Okay then, so we did get a service, tea, coffee and water. All available on today's flight, surprisingly. Now, um, another question that I got asked is, what is my name? My name is... Did then begin descending down into Melbourne on this beautiful summer's morning. Okay, we've begun our descent into Melbourne. We're 
very quickly heading down. So I guess this child's to answer another question. I've got two more, one now, and then one after landing. Um, this one is, what is my favourite airport in regional Queensland? And I haven't really been to many, to be honest with you. But my favourite one that I've been to is Sunshine Coast. I don't know if you want to call that regional. But I do like the Sunshine Coast. I've been there so much. And I like the airport there, you know, it's nice. The approach is pretty cool. You're coming over the Noosa on the runway. Yeah, that's my favourite airport. Anyway, we are approaching Melbourne very quickly. We just passed through the Grand Pins back there. And now it's on our way down. I wonder what runway we'll land on. Yeah, great flight with Virgil. Just your average flight to Melbourne. I'll see you all when we land. We did then make an approach offering some views of the Melbourne CBD in the distance before touching down on runway 34. We then had a short taxi to the gate where we found some stairs for us to disembark from. Thank you, sir. I then made my way onto the Virgin Australia Lounge at Melbourne Airport. Okay, then I'm here in the Virgin Australia Melbourne Lounge. This is definitely my favourite lounge in their network by far. Um, I've got myself a brioche with like an egg in it and some muffins and an apple juice. Um, my next flight's on Bonza. I'm making a little review on them. Fly up to Port Macquarie and back. But it doesn't leave for four hours. So I thought, let's just come here after my flight instead of waiting in the hustling and bustling T4. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Okay, then that was my experience on Virgin Australia and also my q and I've just been relaxing here at the Melbourne Lounge. It's a really nice lounge actually. Great place to relax rather than the hustling and bustling Terminal 3 and 4. The final question I get asked is how do I save up money to be able to do these trips and to be able to do all these sort of things? And as I mentioned before, I have a job and that's, that's it. If you just put money aside, if you put $20 a week aside, you can save up enough money over a period of time to be able to do these flights. And I'll just wait 10 weeks and then you can do like a day trip or something, you know. It's not hard, just, just save up as much as you can. But yeah, there's nothing special about me. I'm just like everyone else when it comes to earning money and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video up until this point. Um, a massive, massive thank you to my patrons for their ongoing support. You know, their support ensures that I can be here making videos just like this one here. Anyway, if you like this video, stay tuned because we've got a lot more exciting videos coming on the channel. We're about to fly bombs up to Port Macquarie. My plane hasn't even arrived yet, so I'm about to go get some lunch here and then we're going to hop on Bonza. So I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching until this point. See you all then. I'd like to take this chance to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their ongoing support and continuous support. Their generosity ensures that I'm able to keep travelling and making videos just like this one. If you'd like to join them, I'll put a link in the description box down below. Or for some one-off support, you can do it via PayPal me. I have links to both of those in the description box down below. I'll see you all next week for another video.